Hello, friend. Today we are going to chat about this 731. This is the channel of the Alpha. It's leadership for good and for bad. What I want you to recognize here is it's a projected channel, meaning it needs to be recognized and invited. If this is one of your strengths, this is one of your channels, this is, you know, a part of your particular body graph, understand that leadership needs to have an invitation. People need to invite you in so that you can lead, so that you can lead us into the future. Because again, logic, right? We're taking a look at the logical side of the body graph. And the logic is saying, okay, well, how do we vitally move into the future? What do we do here? What needs to be corrected? What kind of details need to be focused in on and concentrated on? What is the depth that needs to present itself in skills? And then what kind of flow does this need to have? What kind of flow does it need to have? So that the influence that you're meant to have can present itself. However, <laughs> if you're jumping in to a leadership role because the mind is reacting to the chaos that's happening on this planet, and you know, like, I can totally make a difference. Yeah, I, I would 100% agree with that. But it's not about you pushing against based off the reaction. It's about being invited in. This includes the manifestors. So even though a manifestor will have a motor connected to the throat, if this is a channel in a manifestor or an innovator, that leadership still needs to be invited in. If you are a builder or a, a, a manifesting generator or generator, you need to be asked so that you can respond and go, yeah, I have the energy to be the leader. And if you are a projector or an advisor, you need to be invited. People need to recognize this leadership first and foremost, and then be invited in to be that beautiful leader. So if you, uh, you know, I don't know if you have this book or not, you can um, definitely grab it. But the seventh gate or trait is a role gate. It's a role gate. So how are you going to lead? You're going to lead as an authoritarian. You're going to lead as a Democrat. You're going to lead as an art anarchist. You're going to lead as an abdicator. You're going to lead like a general. You are going to lead as the administrator. So there's different nuances to the leadership and how you're going to influence people. So, so here's an example for you. I just had a client um, this past week, and, and she's like, I'm going to run for county council. I know I can make a difference. And I'm like, well, did anybody ask you to do that? She's frustrated. She wants to react. All this frustration's happening. She can see, you know, the, the spending of the money isn't correct. Um, all kinds of things you can see when we, when we take a look at government and the, and the bureaucracies that happen there. But when I asked her, did anybody ask you to step into that role? and run for a leadership position. Mm, no, nobody asked me. Okay, well now just pay attention to that energy. You're moving based off of a frustrated reaction. 
And yes, she could, she is brilliant. She's got a brilliant business mind. Um, you know, her entire body graph is about influencing the community. But if nobody asks, she's still going to be frustrated. Because it will not be the correct place for her. And she will be mentally exhausted and physically absolutely drained because nobody asked her to do that. And then the conditioning, right? The conditioning of her, the conditioning of others, all of that takes place instead of healthy influence and taking advantage of the energy. And that is the whole piece of human design. If we are not moving correctly, if we are not using our strategy and our authority and the correct decision making for our meat suit, there is nothing. Without this form, you cannot be a leader. Now, do you want the form to be in the best possible condition? Of course we do. We want to be healthy, spiritually, mentally, physically. And the only way to do that is to re let go of the resistance and stop trying to push against life and absolutely cease moving from a place of reaction. Because of course we can all see that there's like all kinds of disconnect happening on our planet right now. It's the program. And the program is a duality. So we have this massive uprising of spirituality. And people that are waking up and going, oh, I am spiritual and I just have this meat suit. Okay, great. Let's move from there. And then there's this massive amount of, of energy that is holding on. The mind doesn't want to give up control. Of course it doesn't. It wants to have control. Quit listening to this crazy lady on YouTube and let me continue to control your life. Do you want to be on a little marionette string and, and, and your mind, you know, continuing to put you into frustration and continuing to put you into bitterness and to continue to put you into anger and disappointment? Or would you prefer to move your physical body and use the intelligence of that physical body? And that is your choice. And we live in this duality. The evolution, the program is happening. It's beautiful. But we have to see that the, the, the balancing is way out here on the scales. It's way out here. And if we can just pull that in and begin to play in the middle of the scale so that the scales aren't tipped so greatly, that's going to totally change our world. And how do we do that? It's by operating through your decision-making decision strategy and moving from a place that's healthy for your physical body. And have the ally as, or the, the mind as an ally. Right now, it's mostly a foe. And it's beautiful when we don't let it make decisions. And we have a whole shit ton of leaders running around in their heads. And they are creating more disturbance in the field. But just for one moment, if everybody could absolutely operate just for one freaking moment, like holy man, the healing, uh, the disrepair, the ease that could happen with everything, the entire biverse, the entire, uh, you know, human population, everything, everything totally changed. So if this is one of your strengths, no, you are a leader. For sure you are. 
You have that ability. You have that innate strength who's in you. You have this ability to go, hmm, what do we need to do to move into the future? Hey, that's not right, or this isn't right. Maybe we should tweak it. You know, maybe we should do some correcting. Hey, maybe we should take some wisdom and move that up and, and allow for people to, to uh, you know, express their skills in a way that, that right now we're stifling. You have all of that in you. You have all of that in you. However, <laughs> needs to be invited. It needs to be invited so that you're correct. And the moment you're correct, it ripples out. It ripples out. So have fun with that. Have fun with that. Don't volunteer. Be invited. Be invited. And it doesn't matter what type you are, whether you are a manifester slash innovator, whether you are a uh, generator, manifesting generator slash builder, or whether you are a projector slash advisor, none of it matters. You have to be invited. All right. And I trust that once you are, the leadership ability that you have and the influence that you can place on our humanity is going to be one that is really healthy and that you get to move us into the future.